You say, are we good? Yep. We're on? Yep. Okay. All right, welcome everybody tonight to our uh, September town board meeting. Um, before I get started, I'll introduce who we have with us. On my right, we have the town clerk, Kelly Allegra. To my left, we have uh, Councilwoman Sylvia Santiago and Eve Lincoln. To my right, Councilman Stephen Bedetti and Councilman Steve Moreau. With us tonight also is our highway superintendent, Anthony Fayo, our police chief, Robert Doss, and the guy who's always telling me no, our town attorney, David Zagon. Um, also in the audience is our receiver taxes, Susan Scheibel is here with us tonight. So before we get started, I'd like everybody to stand up, we'll say the pledge, and Mr. BG, I ask you to lead us in the pledge. You, yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. BG. Before we get started with our formal town board meeting, I'd like to make a presentation tonight to our police chief. So I'd ask our police chief, Robert Dorse, and I've asked his family to join us tonight to come up here in the front. Robert. I want to present Robert with a uh, certificate of recognition. Robert has been with the New England Police Department for 25 years, which in and of itself is, uh, says a lot about the man. So I'll read this. A certificate of recognition presented to Police Chief Robert L. Dorse. I want to acknowledge your 25 years of faithful service to the town of New Windsor as a sworn police officer. You have attained the rank of police chief, and that accomplishment, accomplishment is only reached by a select few. Thank you for a job well done, and I look forward to many more years of you being in command of our exceptional police department. Your leadership, skills, and professionalism are appreciated, appreciated by all of our town government officials and our residents. This will be presented today, but it's actually dated tomorrow, which is his anniversary. George A. Myers supervisor. So, Robert, you really are a testament to a true policeman, a true leader, and we're very lucky to have you as our police chief. And your family is very lucky to have you, and you are very lucky to have such a nice family. I'm very familiar with this little guy on my left here, not a big guy, but he is also looks to me like he's going to follow in your footsteps. You all should be very proud of your father. It's a tremendous accomplishment. And many of his officers are here tonight. It's so command staff is here. So um, on behalf of the town, I'd like to congratulate you for a job well done and appreciate knowing you for many, many years, right? I taught you yes. criminal justice when you were 18 years old in our county right. community class. We got to go back a long ways. So Danny, you want to hold this? Sure. Can you get a ball in there? Okay, I'd like to get one more picture. Thank you. Jeff, with the town board. How do we get the town board up here? Thank you. Okay, thanks, Rob. Right. Thanks for your talking about me. So the first item on the agenda is a uh, agenda. Which, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Is a public hearing having to do with the override of the 
tax levy limit established by the general municipal law section 3c so we called for this public hearing last week so i'll wait a couple of minutes to see if anybody wants to speak to this before we close it danielle you let me know if anybody's online that wants to say anything <clears throat> You have somebody? You have nobody. Do you ever have anybody? Not too often. Okay. I don't see anybody out there. So at that point, Chair Lentine and Motion Town Board Town the Winds to close the public hearing in the matter of the proposed local law and title the local law to override the tax levy limit established by the general municipal law. Section 3C. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Moreau? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln? Yes. Supervisor Miners? Yes. Jonathan, in motion, town board, town in the winter, pursuant to, pursuant to section 3-C5 of the New York State General Municipal Law, adopt a local law attached here to entitled the local law to override the tax levy limit established in the General Municipal Law, section 3C. This local law would permit the town of New Windsor to adopt a budget that exceeds the tax levy limit prescribed by the New York State Municipal Law, Section 3C, for the fiscal year commencing on January 1st, 2023. The board further directs the town clerk to publish said local law pursuant to law. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Rowe? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. The town board has been working very hard the last couple of weeks with our town controller, um, Doreen Casey to not override this tax limit and we'll be making that announcement in probably the October meeting. So the next item on the agenda is a public comment. These comments can be on agenda items only. Speakers permitted to speak for up to three minutes. This is strictly for comments. No question, answer or discussion will be allowed on any item, no exceptions. So this public comment will be for the agenda items only, which has been posted online. Daniel, I'll be on you. You don't want to give them any time. They're worse than me. <clears throat> okay, nobody but? Okay, Chair Lantani, Motion Town Board, Town and Winds approved the minutes of the public hearing of the 2022 proposed sewer assessment roll, as well as the minutes of the regular town board meeting held on August 3rd, 2022, as per copies posted on the town clerk's bulletin board in the town hall. Same distributed each of town board members. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Monroe? Yes. Councilman Deddy? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. <clears throat> it's a receiving file. Hearing no objection, town board town and wins and shall receive and file the attached proposal received in the public open on September 1st, 2022, for the Creamery Drive culvert repair and lining project. There was only one bidder on this, and we'll speak to this in a minute. Chair Lentine, motion, town board, town of the winds, whereas town clerk, town of the winds, advertised pursuant to law for sealed bids to contract for work to be performed on the Creamery Drive culvert repair and lining project. And whereas, in accordance with the aforementioned advertisement for bids, all base bids were received in the public open at the town clerk at 2 p.m. on September 1st, 2022. And whereas, having received all bids from the town clerk, so I was the engineer of the town, town of the winds, reviewed and vetted and made a recommendation to award to the town board for the same. Now, therefore, be resolved. The town board town of the Windsor award the above rented reference contract for the work to be performed on the Creamery Drive culvert repair and lining project to Arnold Construction Company Inc. The base bid amount of $285,700 in accordance with the attached recommendation of the engineer for the town. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Moreau? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln? Yes. Supervisor Meyer? Yes. Uh, this is a project that was moved along by Councilwoman. Santiago, it's been an issue down in that area for a while, and we're going to rectify it, and hopefully we'll correct those issues that the folks living down have been having. <clears throat> Chairman, like the motion, town board, town of Windsor, authorize the town clerk to advertise, pursuant to law, calling for sealed bids for the Lake Road culvert replacement project, which shall be received and publicly opened on the 29th day of September 2022 at 11 a.m. local time at the office of the town of New Windsor town clerk, 555 Union Avenue. In Windsor, New York, the town board of the town of the Windsor reserves the right to reject any and all bids. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Moreau? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Another receiving file. Hear no objection. Town board, town of Windsor receiving file. 
with the town clerk, the attached utility and assessment easement agreement dated June 29, 2022, between Craig Cartwright and Janelle Cartwright in the town of New Windsor, which was recorded in the Orange County Clerk's Office on the first day of August 22nd in leave of 15, 282 at page 1481. This is a Sloop Hill project. We needed to get an easement from um, these folks and they were kind enough to give us the easement. Is that, how's that job? Is that done, Anthony? It's ready to be paid. It's ready to be paid? Yeah. Okay, so that's been a long time coming too, right, Anthony? Yeah. Yeah, appreciate your help in moving that project along too. I know it's long overdue. Another receiving file. Here, no objection, Town Boy Town, no one's here receiving file with the town clerk, the attached access stipulation, well abandonment agreement dated August 12, 2022, between the town of Windsor, New York State Department of Environmental Conservation for the construction of monitoring wells and proper abandonment to be constructed, uh, sentinel monitoring wells. This has to do with the uh, DEC putting some wells on some property owned by the town of Windsor to ascertain who may be responsible for some contamination in that area. Another receiving file here with no objection, Town Board, Town of Windsor, receiving file the Town Clerk to attach amendment agreement between the Town of the Windsor, New York State Department of Environmental Conservation for reimbursement by the New York State Department of Conservation to the Town of the Windsor for the actual cost of purchasing water, which revises both not to exceed amount payable under the agreement to $7,110,145.73 and extends the term of the agreement to May 31st, 2023. So I'd like to acknowledge the work by our town attorney in this project. So we have had the New York State DEC uh, helping us pay for some of the water we're taking from the aqueduct. So good work, David. Did Jess have anything to do with this? A little bit, okay. Another receiving file. Here we go, Jackson Town Board, Town of Windsor, receiving file with the town clerk to attach revised federal aid local projects utility work agreement between the town of the Windsor, City of Newburgh, and New York State Department of Transportation for the construction of a new water meter pit for the benefit of the town of Windsor by the city of Newburgh in connection with the city of Newburgh's Walsh Road over Crusade Bridge replacement project. City of Newburgh is replacing that bridge that goes from 9W into the city of Newburgh. And uh, we have cooperated with that and they have agreed to help us um, with, with that a new water meter fit. Another receiving file. Here no objection, Town Board Town of Windsor receiving file, the attached seal proposals received in public open on July 19, 2022, for the Caesars Lane Wastewater Treatment Plant Membrane Bioreactor System pre-selection. Talk to that in a minute. Shell Antenna Motion Town Board Town of Windsor award the bid to the Caesars Lane Wastewater Treatment Plant Membrane Bioreactor System pre-selection to a Suez WTS Systems USA Incorporated in the base bid amount of 3826000 as the lowest responsible bidder in accordance with general municipal law, section 103 as recommended by McGoey House of Etzel, DPC and the attached correspondence motion. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Morales. Yes. Councilman Gadetti. Yes. Councilwoman Santiago. Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln. Yes. Supervisor Myers. Yes. I'd just like to acknowledge uh, Councilman Bedetti for your help with this. Uh, you oversee those water and sea projects, so I appreciate you getting involved in that. General Anthony Motion, Town Board, Town of Windsor, authorize the town clerk to advertise pursuant to law calling for sealed bid for the Town of the Windsor Senior Resco Center Improvement Project, which shall be received and public opened on the 18th day of October 2022 at 11 a.m. local time at the office of the Town of the Windsor Town Clerk, 555 Union Avenue, New Windsor, New York. Town Board, Town of the Windsor, reserves the right to reject any law bids. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Moreau? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yeah, this is a $495,000 grant that we got for the upgrade of the Moresco Center. I'd like to acknowledge the work that Mike Weeks, our town engineer, and Jess Marina, who was our paralegal, fought their way through this paperwork, and it was no easy battle, but we're now going out to bid, and hopefully this project will be done within a couple of months. <clears throat> General Intent and Motion Town Board Town of Windsor hereby authorized to approve the hiring of Lisa Diamond as a full time senior clerk and assign her as secretary to the chief of police. Said employment shall commence effective September 12, 2022. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Rowe? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Councilwoman Lincoln? Yes. And Supervisor Myers? Yes. Okay, Robert, now you have another secretary and a half for a month or so, right? Yes. When is she leaving? Lois? October 10th. Okay, so that gives us some time to break around. Another receiving file. Him no objection. Town Board Town of Windsor receiving file with the town clerk. A letter of retirement submitted by Peter Wicker, dated August 1st, 2022, providing notification of his August 20th retirement date. 
Um, Truma Wicker was with us for many, many years, did a great job as our ID officer, and I wish him well in his retirement. Chair Lantana Motion, Town Board Town of Windsor authorizes Solicitor Smith to Angel Solis Equino to sell food items such as tacos, torta, tortillas, what's Delis? I don't know what that is, and beverages from a truck to be located at 835 Union Avenue, Windsor, New York. Permit shall be obtained by the Town Clerk's Office. Motion. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Rowe? No. Councilmember Daddy? No. Councilwoman Santiago? No. Councilwoman Lincoln? No. Supervisor Myers? No. Chair Lente, I'm oh, sorry, this is another receiving file. I have no objection. Town Board Town of Winds receiving file of the time clerk. The attached notice of claim in the matter of RO, an infant, by his father, an FNG, Brian O'Connor, and Brian O'Connor individually versus the Town of the Winds. This is a notice of claim that we received from. Um, parent whose child had a bicycle accident on a road. It, that road is not a town road. So we'll receive a file this and send it to our insurance company, but there be no action code. We have not dedicated that road yet. Have another receiver file notice of claim David Burgos and Sosan Burgos individually and his parents and natural guardians of an infant, Jacob Burgos versus Town of the Windsor. Hear no objection, Town Board Town of Windsor receiving file with the town clerk the attached notice of claim in the matter of David Burgos. And so on Burgos individually and his parents and natural guardians of the infant Jacob Burgos first of town in the winter. This is also another bike accident where a child drove out um, from Park Road into Lake Road and the bike struck the car. So we'll forward this to our insurance company and let them handle the matter. Another receiving file. Here no objection. Town board town and winds receiving file with the town clerk. The attached monthly reports for the following departments for August 2022. Justice Court, Noreen Calderon, Justice Court, George Myers, Police Department, Building Department, Recreation Department, Tax Receiver Utility Report, Town Clerk, and the Windsor Medical Services. So I noticed that, Chief, that we arrested four people with DWI this month, so they're still out there. And the ambulance score is just shy of 300 calls for the month. So we've been busy here. The, anybody who's been around Town Hall sees the Town Clerk's Office and the Receiver Taxes Office, Building Department, a lot of action there. And, we just had some major uh, projects with the recreation department, like thank Matt Bernice and Keith Bedetti for all they did to get those things off the ground. Um, so the next item and last item is a public forum that anybody from the public can speak to any item that they'd like, wish to talk about. And um, I'll ask anybody here, if anybody wants to make any comments about anything. I'll ask Danielle, you got anybody over there? I'll shut them down too quick now. Patrick would wait longer than that. Senator Fay, if you're in overtime, it's 15 minutes, okay? Chair Lent, any motion? Town Board, Town of Windsor, adjourn the Town Board meeting at 7 16 p.m. Motion? Move. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Rowe? Yes. Councilmember Betty? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Councilmember Lincoln? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Okay, everybody, thanks for showing up. Robert, congratulations.